Okie dokie, let's go. <laughs> What's my name? Well, you know what my name is. Sex Toe. It has been two years. Two years since my grandfather passed away. Two years since I met the boys. Oh boy. <laughs> two years since Sam and I shared our first kiss. Pew. It may have been forced, yes, but he was still my first and my last. I grew to love this man and held no doubt about my affections for him. He might have seemed intimidating to some, but inside he was a sweetheart and was as gentle as a feather. I felt warmth. I felt warm every time I thought of him. I sm a smile following after. Sam. Why is this screen so small, though? <laughs> as his image appeared... Oh, I thought we were calling out to Sam. Whoops. As, an Im as his image appeared in my mind, my heart fluttered. Sam had decided to join the police force, and the idea used his handcuffs very weave. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Embarrassment aside, he would always come home. Proud to have caught a criminal, or to have stopped a fight. I was so proud of him, and always praised him enough to make him go right in the face. He was so cute like that. He would always smile, though. In the end, he cherished me beyond anything else in the world. I was happy, and I never wanted my story to end. No, surpri no surprises, no problems. Goodness. On a day off, though, something surprised me. What a lovely kitchen. I was cleaning the kitchen, humming my favorite Rise of the Phoenix song. Hey! To myself, dinner was quick, but having a clean kitchen was important. My mind wandered to what happened at dinner. It was peace. It was peaceful, but Sam barely said a word to me. It might have been because he was tired, but Sam was a lot more vocal at dinner time. What made him different today? However, just as I finished cleaning the last utensil, something zipped past my me like li like lightning. Goodness! I looked back and tried to see from my memory if I could pin a detail in the fast-moving shadow, but it came up with only one answer: Sam. No reply. It had to be Sam, though. Who else would do this? Who else would even be in the house? I was... I... We're not going to the demon world again. I... I forbid it. I quickly washed my hands and tried to run in the direction of... Direction the shadow ran towards heading into the dining room. I gasped slightly. What the... Draped over the chair was a sign. From the handwriting, I could tell that it was Sam. He tried to write legibly enough for his message to get across. He still had some work to do, but I read the sign the best I could. You have a surprise in your room. Please don't be you half naked. Not even half naked. Just naked. On the bed in the pose like, paint me like one of your French girls, sexto. A surprise? What was going on? Was this some kind of booty call? <laughs> That's a trick. I could... Sam, what are you up to? I decided to go along with this. What was that? What, what, what was waiting for me? Oh my gosh. Would it be a desperate Sam? God. Would it be a gift or some sort? This wasn't like Sam at all, and yet it had Sam written all over it. He practically wrote the sign himself. Well, <laughs> I walked through the lobby and headed upstairs to my room. I felt a pair of eyes watching me, but I ignored it. If Sam was watching, then he'd have to watch, watch me follow his directions to the roughly written letter. My bedroom door was closed, despite me leaving it open the last time I left it. Odd. I slowly opened it, mentally preparing for anything. Take a breath. Let it out. I wasn't prepared enough for what was there. I'm scared. I saw a beautiful jade-colored dress laid out on the bed. It gently glimmered in the light of the room, showing the uh, showing the grace of its regal fabric and design. It looked like a princess gown, yet it was definitely a modern dress. It was like a large prom dress, but it wasn't. But I wasn't going to prom. Stepping further through the room, I noticed my bedside table was covered in different jewelry and accessories. On the floor was a pair of gorgeous jade heels that sparkled in the light of the room. Sam, if you're around, what's going on? I tried to speak out, hoping he was nearby to hear me. I didn't hear a reply. Sam, what is going on? Gosh, this was beyond anything Sam would do. I could never imagine him laying this out for me, yet my heart fluttered at the thought possibly being very true. My mind began to imagine him seeing me in this dress. His face would turn red, but he would give me a silly grin and call me pretty. My, my lips curled into a very happy smile at the fantasy thought. I stepped towards the dress and gently lifted it up. It was perfectly made for me. The tailoring was it was customed with no tag on the collar. I blushed wildly. When did? What distracted me was the note falling out from the dress onto the floor. I quickly picked it up and read it. Again, it was Sam's sloppy writing. Please get dressed and wait to be escorted back downstairs. Oh. Okay. I stared at the note in complete confusion. Wait, to be escorted? Uh, what did he mean? Were we going somewhere? This whole thing left me with so many questions. I began to rethink following the shadow from the kitchen. He 
he better be he he better be he better explain at the end of all this. I muttered before slowly stripping down and slipping onto the dress. Sam watching like mm, yeah, that that's all his plan. That was his plan all along. It was indeed perfect, form fitting like princess like, a quick uh, a quick zip, and suddenly I was royalty. I looked at the mirror at myself and couldn't stop staring. I really did look regal. Whoa. I stared at myself. How was I able to look like this from simply putting on a dress? I slowly st uh, st started to add accessories and some sort and some of some of the pieces of jewelry. Bleh. Once I put on the heels, I felt the world around me was almost too dreamlike to be real. This was from Sam. A small knock tapped over my d on my door, and I quickly rushed over to open it. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I download the wrong episode? Uh. <laughs> James? <laughs> I stared as James, dressed in his servant garb, <laughs> greeted me and held out an arm to me. He was on in on this? James, what's going on? James didn't reply, simply smiling at me and nodding for me to take his arms. I quickly took it, and I even more unsure what was happening. He guided me to the lobby where Eric, Matthew, and Damien fuck, waited for us in their servant garbs as well. I gripped James' arms tighter, bleh, now very nervous. What was going on? Oh, I missed your guys' old art. You don't look like frogs anymore. I climbed down the stairs before James gently lowered my arm and joined his brothers. Everything was slowly becoming a fairy tale dream, and my mind had a hard time wrapping around it. Before I could speak, though, the boys bowed their heads and raised their arms in unison towards the dining room archway. This is so cheesy. I turned my head and gasped. Off to war there, Sam! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Dressed in an extremely handsome prince- I just got dizzy from laughing too hard. <clears throat> an extremely handsome prince garb was Sam staring at me with a surprised expression and blush in his cheeks. I felt a blush run, uh, uh, rush onto my own face at the sight of Sam. He looked really handsome. <laughs> he looks more confused than anything. And my heart was racing just from the look at him. Just to look at him. Just the just, just by looking at just, what? Just from looking at him. There we go. This had to be a dream. There we go. That's the face I know and love. Sam gulped silently before walking over and holding out his hand to me. I stared at it, then slowly reached out and placed my hand in his. Sam smiled before gently bringing his uh it to his lips. His hand was quivering. Why? You look amazing. <laughs> well, you did pick out the outfit for me. Good job, Sam. <laughs> The truth is, Damien actually picked out, This would look nice on her. Yep. I stared at Sam as he looked at me with his lips on my knuckles. But you talked with... Okay. My blush grew hotter on my face, making him chuckle softly and lean back up straight. He didn't let go of my hand, however, and gently pulled me towards him. Oh! This is so friggin' cheesy. <laughs> I I'm sorry, it just is. I looked up at Sam as he smiled and rested a hand on my waist, lifting the hand he was holding beside us. I naturally rested a hand on his shoulder, raising an eyebrow. Then music started to play. Da -da -da -da. It was a song I recognized. It had become Sam's personal favorite, only plucked on a piano. On the piano. I looked over to the direction of the sound, barely seeing Eric playing the portable piano in the corner of the room, because why not? Before feeling Sam tighten his grip on me, making me look back to him. Well, shall we dance? I... I was... I was actually gonna go watch, you know, the new Gilmore Girls, but okay! <laughs> I stared, telling every single dance- uh, t what? Telling every single dancing nerve in my body that this was indeed real before nodding to Sam. Dancing nerve? Your nerve's already dancing, damn! Like a fairy tale, he and I began to dance in almost perfect unison. He gently guided me around the lobby, waltzing with me with it, with a tender smile on his face. I couldn't help but smile back, despite my mind being completely lost in what was going on. The smile always made everything okay with me. <clears throat> Each step we took was perfectly timed with the music. I didn't doubt Sam had these skills because he was an incubus, yet it seemed so uncharacteristic of him to be able to be so prince-like. Well, he was a prince, I mean... Sam, what is going on? I'm dancing. What does it look like, doofus? But why? <laughs> We're dancing, yes, but before I could continue, this room slowly began to melt and get darker. Whoa! Okay, final destination, much 
Sam kept leading me through the uh, through the dances of the room around us, beginning to turn to the night sky. What is going on? The stars were brilliantly lit, with the noon being the uh, with the noon with the moon being the largest light in the sky. I felt myself gripped to Sam tighter before looking around. We were dancing in the night sky, cause why not? Under the light of the moon, our feet touched the air, as if it were merely the floor. We as we waltzed to echoed music. <laughs> the boys are like, where'd they go? <laughs> They go out and look up at the sky. Well, there they are. It's gonna be a hell of a ride down. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of air, I slightly looked down to see the mansion far below us. Oh my god, I was right. We were very high up in the sky. I couldn't help but tighten my grip against on again onto Sam, who chuckled in response. Sam, like, we're really- I don't think we should be up here. I'm afraid of heights. What? We're in the sky. We're floating on- we're dancing on air. This isn't normal. I'm, I'm dating an incubus, I mean. We're in the- They're in the sky. Yes, I know. It, Chris. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but what if- I promise, I won't let you fall. God, I hope not. I hope this wasn't a plan just to kill me off so you can go date somebody else. I looked up at Sam to see him with a serious expression. Our dance became a simple sway as he gently moved the hand on my waist to caress my cheek. I naturally closed my eyes and nuzzled into this gloved hand. I would never let you fall. I'll be by your side. Always. I'll protect you with my life. Spoiler alert. He does! <laughs> the words echoed through my body, making my heart feel warm and light. I felt incredibly happy and that the, that he was like this. I almost didn't want to ask any more about what was happening. Everything seemed too perfect that even the smallest doubt might break the stream. I didn't want this dream to end if it was one. Sam gently led me back into the dance, smiling once again to me. What did you learn to dance? <laughs> Sam let out a small laugh and twirled me before returning me to our waltz. James taught me. Oh, it took forever, trust me. But I think I got it. It's not too hard. I'm just imagining Sam and James dancing together now. It's a beautiful scene. You're an amazing dancer. I bet James is even better. <laughs> My words rendered him speechless. Oh, oh dear. Bro, bro, you smeared tomato all over your face. <clears throat> he stared down at me and and blushed while uh, trying to continue our dance. You're so important to me, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're important to me, Sam. Yep. I mean it, though. I know. No one has ever made me feel this way. Ever. I never even thought I'd be like this, but... <laughs> Here I am, dressed like, a, dressed, dressed like a prince dancing in the night sky. It's weird what places will take you. <laughs> Love, am I right? Sam? Soon, Sam slowly stopped us from dancing, letting us stand in the night sky, cause why not? Like nothing else mattered. Sam stared down at me, a look of pure seriousness covering his face. I love you so much, alright? You make me feel like a man, <laughs> not a monster. Okay, okay. You're so frigging important to me. I get it. I just... I get it. I get it. My heart was beating faster than I thought possible. Sam gently lifted my chin and leaned down, laying his forehead against mine. I want to be worthy of you. Will you just friggin' ask me to marry you already? You are, Sam. I love you, too. <gasps> that is so freaking gorgeous! <gasps> Look at this CG, it's so pretty! Oh, oh, I spit a little. <laughs> Ruined that moment, didn't I? But damn, oh, you cutie patootie, let me just pinch your little che- Oh, dear. Sam closed his eyes and smiled. I could feel my heart warm and my eyes began to water. He was everything I dreamt of, everything I wanted, everything I needed. I loved him. Sam then slowly left, lift, lifted my left hand and kissed over my ring finger. For a second, I heard him growl slightly before whispering. Man, screw human tradition. I'm a demon. Uh-huh. Eh. I watched as Sam kiss the back of my hand and then over my wrist. I could feel my energy gently circle and vibrate at the touch of his lips. I watched as a very subtle green mark began to draw themselves over my hand. What are you doing? <laughs> Almost like watercolor paint as chains. I beg you not. They circle around my wrist, they continued to circle around my hand. Once, twice, three times. At the fourth, it wrapped around the base of my ring finger. Oh. So you didn't have to buy a ring, you cheap bastard. Okay. The marks began to glow gently before fading into in the, into my skin. On my ring finger, however, appeared a gold ring with emeralds of di emerald emerald emeralds and diamonds. It glistened in the moonlight, glimmering its brilliant shine at the many stars that surrounded us. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
Jay, all the brothers down there are just like, Woo! Yeah! Did she say yes? <laughs> I looked up at Sam. What a small smirk. <laughs> if you don't say yes to marrying me, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> if you don't say yes to marrying me, I will drop you. <laughs> I instantly began to cry, feeling the fear that he might drop me at any moment. Feeling my entire body warm up in joy, Sim held my hands to his chest, letting his smirk mount into, my gen into a genuine smile. But yeah, will you marry me? I want to be yours and have you as my own forever. You're so I beautiful. I know I'm not on one knee or whatever, uh, but I'm a friggin' demon, so uh, like... I, I understand. I didn't let him finish. I instantly jumped up and wrapped my... <laughs> jumped up. You're not standing on anything, girl! How do you jump? And wrapped my arms around him, kissing him deeply. He gasped against my lips before slowly wrapping his arms around me and kissing me back just as deeply. Every ounce of his love showed itself to me in that kiss. I felt like I was in heaven, just kissing him, being in his arms. He was who I wanted to be with, and I would continue to love him and be his for the rest of our days. As we gently pulled away, I smiled, tears still gently rolling down my cheeks. Yes, Sam, I will marry you. Please don't drop me. Sam smiled wildly before hugging me close. His embrace was tight, and I could feel him almost shudder in pure joy. He was happy as I was. I love you. I love you, too. And that was my happily ever after. Again. <laughs> um, can I explore? In honor of a special Sam fan. Alrighty, then. Well, that was Sam's extra episode. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.